Hey folks, how you doing? Ron Raymond here from the Raymond Report with your free NBA previews and predictions for a Wednesday, hump day, March 3rd. Hopefully you're having yourself a good start to your day. As always, don't forget, subscribe to our channel by tapping that notification bell in the top right-hand corner. And hopefully you can join us live today, 2 to 3 p.m. Eastern, right here on our YouTube channel as we do a live podcast each and every Monday to Friday right here on the Raymond Report. All right, Eddie's at it again. Look at Eddie. Hey, Fast Eddie won 10 in a row now. He won last night with Arkansas. In fact, it was a blowout. And uh, we had a 6.5 point. He, he, uh, I think it was 5.5 when he put that pick in. But the uh, the last line that was uh, on this game was 6.5. It was an easy win for uh, uh, Eddie's 10th straight win. Now we'll see if uh, Eddie's going to have another pick here today. Going for number 11 and two more wins and he will win $500 courtesy of streakcatcher.com. If you want to see Eddie's pick today... And Phillies 157, also on a five-game winning streak. Phillies 157 had the Winnipeg Jets last night. And that was minus 125 uh, because that's one of the rules here at uh, streetcatcher.com. The uh, money line has to be 125 or under if you're playing a money line selection. But uh, check it out, streetcatcher.com. And uh, come and get Eddie and Phillies 157 in next selection. All right, let's go to the NBA card. We've got a lot of games here on deck. This is uh, uh, last day, the second last day before the All-Star break. Now, this game was postponed yesterday. The Raptors taking on Detroit Pistons. Toronto, a one-point favorite. Over-under set at 215.5. ATS forecast, computer pick. Going to go with the Raptors here, 109-107. Over-under at 216.88. 60% chance of covering the spread for the Raptors. Last two games have gone under for the Pistons. And looking at our line on this game, the value index... Minus 2.46 was our number, and you are uh, laying one and a half, so you are getting value with the Raptors and your Kogo. The chance of this game going over the total is at 49%. Utah Jazz taking on the Philadelphia 76ers. Hey, could this be a NBA Finals matchup? We'll see in a few months. Now, looking at the Jazz going into this one, a three and a half point road favorite. Over under set at 227.5. ATS forecast, computer pick, going to lead with the Jazz by one, 116 and 115. Over under at 232.21, 46% chance of this uh, covering the spread for the Jazz compared to 41 for the Sixers. The last two games for Philly have gone over the total. They're playing on one day's rest. The over under on the season is 20 and 15. And uh, the value edge on this game, minus 3.28 for the Sixers, minus 9.39 for the Jazz. Pacers taking on the Cleveland Cavaliers. Cavaliers coming off a 101 90 win over the Rockets, while the Pacers took it on the chain against the Sixers. 130 to 114 in their last game. They're on a four game losing streak now. Going to this game, however, they are a five and a half point road favorite. Over under set at 217. ATS forecast, computer pick, gonna lean with the Pacers here. 112 to 104. The over under at 216. Looking at the Kogo, it's at 40%. Again, Kogo stands for chance of game going over the total. And that's the percentage play angle here at the Rain Report. Brooklyn Nets taking on the Houston Rockets. James Harden uh, going back to his old team. Uh, should be an emotional night for James. And uh, the uh, Brooklyn Nets are 9.5 point road favorite. Over under set at 226.5. ATS forecast. Computer pick. Going to go with the, uh, the Nets here. 132 to 124. The over under set at 256.19. Man, what a chuckle. Uh, you know, when you see an accumulated total of 256, but when you got James Harden and, and company and uh, Kyrie, and uh, we'll see if the, the that's a that's a high total. Two twenty six and a half was the over under, and we got at two fifty six. Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll have to do some deep diving into the stats for this one. Now the Coco is at fifty seven percent chance of this game going over the total, so the percentage play does like it over. But don't look now. The Rockets on a twelve game losing streak. Chicago Bulls taking on the New Orleans Pelicans. Now both these teams coming off a win and a loss. Now the Pelicans won against the Utah Jazz. Big win over the Jazz. That, this is a prime letdown spot here for the Pels. And uh, Chicago uh, lost a close one to the Denver Nuggets. I know the score says they won by six, but that was closer than uh, the score indicated. And again, when you get in these last uh, 30 seconds, all the fouls, uh, this was like a two-point game with about a minute left. 118-112 was the final. Now the uh, the Pelicans, a five-point home favorite here tonight against Chicago. 236.5 is the over-under. And uh, we have the uh, Pelicans winning 115-112, the over-under at 228. Atlanta Hawks taking on the Orlando Magic now. Last night on the yesterday afternoon on the uh, uh, the broadcast on the uh, Ram Report live podcast show, I said Atlanta could be a trap play, and sure enough, it was a 94-80 victory over the Miami Heat. And uh, looking at tonight, they are a four and a half point road favorite. Over under set at 224 and a half. ATS forecast, computer pick. I'm gonna go with the Magic here, 114 to 110. Over under at 224.7. 
60% chance of covering for the Magic. We're on a four-game losing streak. And our value edge on this game, we had uh, the, the uh, a lot of the Hawks as a minus 0.34 uh, line here. And you're laying four and a half, so they are overvalued. The Kogo is at 52%. Charlotte taking on the Minnesota Timberwolves. Timberwolves on an eight-game losing streak and coming off a 118.99 loss to the Suns. Suns' big victory last night over the Lakers. Now going to this one, the Hornets, a one-and-a-half-point road favorite. Over and under set at 229 and a half. ATS forecast, the beauty pick, gonna lean with the Hornets here, 116 to 112, the over under to land on 229.56, 57% chance of covering for the Hornets, 81 for the T-Wolves, the last five games for Charlotte have gone over the total, and the over under record on the season is 21 and 13, Thunder taking on the Mavericks, now Dallas a 6.5 point home favorite, over under set at 223.5, forecast, gonna lean with the Mavs by 1, 115 to 114, over under at 229.72, 62% chance of covering on the uh, point spread uh, uh, percentage play here at the Rain Report for Dallas, who are on a two-game winning streak. The last two games for the Thunder have gone over. They're on three days rest, and uh, their strength of schedule, very tough one the last seven games, 63.2% on the uh, power rating, and uh, looking at the value edge, plus 0.88, so Dallas overvalue tonight against the Thunder. Lakers taking on the Sacramento Kings. Now, I thought this was a typo uh, from the sports book, but it ain't because LeBron James uh, looks like he's out tonight. Three and a half point home court favorite for the Kings. Over under set at 226.5. ATS forecast, computer pick. Gonna lean with Sacramento here, 119 to 112. The over under at 231.66. So it does like it to go over the total. 63% chance of covering for Sacramento and for the LA Lakers. A tough loss last night to the Suns, 114 to 104. Uh, Phoenix was one of our top plays here in the premium picks. In fact, I went 2-0 with my best bets yesterday in basketball. And folks, you can get my top plays, my best bets, each and every day right here at ATSStats.com. Taking a look at the uh, Warriors taking on the Portland Trailblazers. Now the uh, Trailblazers going into this one as a 1.5 point home court underdog. Over and under set at 234.5. ATS forecast, computer pick, going to lean with the Trailblazers. 116 to 109, the over under at 226.84. Looking at uh, both these teams, now Portland coming off a 123 111 win over the Hornets, while the Golden State Warriors took it on the chin against the Lakers 117 to 91 in their last game. That was two days ago. The Kogo is set at 58%, and Kogo again stands for a chance of game going over the total today between the Warriors and the Portland Trailblazers. Don't forget, guys, you can get my top plays, my best bets each and every day. Just go to picks, go to Ron Raymond. And then once you get to this page, uh, just scroll down. You can see my last 25 plays. In fact, uh, again, Spurs were my top play last night and also with the uh, Phoenix Suns. So uh, nice night here on the Rain Report. But again, check out Fast Eddie. Eddie here on the uh, streetcatcher.com going for win number 11 in the row. Let's uh, wish him luck and uh, hopefully he can pull through today and get number 11. He's two wins away from $500 in cash here at courtesy of streetcatcher.com. All right, folks, that's it for me. That's the Rain Report today for a Wednesday, hump day, March 3rd. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoy these shows. And if you do, smash those like buttons and subscribe to this channel by tapping that notification bell in the top right-hand corner. In the meantime, shop for value, play those percentages. We'll see you back shortly with another Rain Report.